So, just for instance, if for some reason they decide to go along with a city morgue right in front of my house, right in front of the entrance street to my neighborhood, right across the street from the school, right in front of an entrance to another neighborhood, like where the school at, the charter school, that street running along the charter school is an entrance to a neighborhood. So if they decide to rezone it and it goes through, I'm rezoning my land for a store. And I, I'm not living in the inner cities no more because they are letting us know where we stand. We are the scum. We're dead. That's what they're telling us. Because why you can't go to a more higher class neighborhood and put the morgue at the entrance of their neighborhood. All these woodlands, all these high rises, all these acres and acres of high rises. Why don't you put the morgue at the entrance of their neighborhood? That's right. Why the morgue can't look. Jacksonville has a big downtown city with abandoned buildings. Nobody's renting. Why not use one of those buildings as a city morgue? Um, let's see. You have a lot of tent city. You got a lot of homeless people. Why not? Why not get some land down there and turn it into a city morgue? Matter of fact, I need to research where is the city morgue right now. So for any reason, for any reason, if that morgue gets approved to be over there and the rezoning actually turn it into a morgue, I'm going to rezone this property. That's right. I'm going to rezone this property to be a store. That's right. I'm going to get my... um what you call it, um, I'm going to get my ramps, I'm going to have a, uh, I'm going to have a, um, I'm not living here no more, because that, that is a sign that people going to be dropping like flies. You want to put a morgue at the entrance of our neighborhood in front of my house, you're going to have to put up walls. So we can't even see over there. Like literally, I can see over there. Like you could have put an old folks assistant home right there. Anything. But yeah, so if they rezone that for public, I'm going to rezone this for uh commercial. There's no reason for me to lay my head over here no more. They already got a cell phone tower, which is a weaponized military grade cell phone tower. It's it's designed to work to neutralize areas. Research cell phone towers. They're designed to actually uh bring down subjects. That's right. So, just a heads up. They might be trying to rezone and put a morgue in your uh, lower status neighborhoods sometime soon. And, you know, I hear people all the time, get out of the inner city, get out of the inner city, get out of the inner city. The reason why I came to Jacksonville, Florida was to do business. That's right. Because I couldn't get a foothold in out of California. It was just too expensive. But things were a little bit more reasonable in Jacksonville. But now everybody flooding down here too due to the pandemic. So I got to stick on my first path. My, per my first path is these people are too sleep and docile to realize while you're... I knew something was wrong when... Let me tell you something. This is how theatrics work with agents. This is how theatrics work with agents. When they were out there protesting about that liquor store, I knew then, and it was all on the news, that liquor store, they bought that property to be a liquor store way before that school was even thought of. Right? 
they was just too slow on um, turning it into a liquor store. Now, that school went up. Now they're protesting for that liquor store not to be there. Okay, people signing petitions around in the neighborhood. But nobody is protesting and signing a petition not to have a morgue at the entrance of our homes. And I said, now this is what y'all need to be signing a petition for. That should not be representing a neighborhood. Everybody and their mama drink alcohol and beer. An alcoholic going to get beer regardless. Going to drink regardless. But the fact that we have to have a morgue at the entrance of a neighborhood, it's not adding up. They're belittling you at the utmost Okay, so by all means, if for some reason that if it play out for them, like people protest and petition, that's what it was. They protested and petitioning about a liquor store. That's the flag. That's the setup. That's the Hollywood scenario. When in fact they want to put a whole morgue at the entrance of our neighborhood, at the entrance of two neighborhoods. It ain't adding up, man. Put a dollar tree. Put a dollar tree. Put a family dollar. Put a dollar general. Put a gas station. Put a corner store. Put a Circle K. Put a Gates. Put something that we need. Put something that the community can actually use and look forward to. Put another hotel. Definitely need a Dollar Tree. A Dollar Tree would be perfect. A Dollar Tree would be definitely perfect. Because I have to drive six miles to the nearest Dollar Tree. Like, no matter which Dollar Tree I go to, I have to drive like six or seven miles. Like, they have Family Dollars and Dollar Generals and Walgreens. But they don't have a Dollar Tree. It's so much more you could do for this community, commercial community, than put a morgue over there. So, um, that ain't what we need. That's not going to benefit us. Who, who going to land a job at the morgue? And another thing, this strip is called Gulf Air Boulevard. Gulf, G-O-L-F, not Gulf, not Gulf, like the, the Gulf of Mexico. No, 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 no. It's called Gulf Air Boulevard. Guess why it's called Gulf Air Boulevard? Because we have a golf course. That's right. We have a golf course where you can go play golf and everything. So why do we need a city morgue over here? Up your standards. Matter of, and we have, not only that, we have a, um, what's the school when you, vocational school, vocational school. We have a vocational school where you can actually go get a trade next to the golf course. Golf course. So when you think somebody that's playing golf or something would want to go over there and eat, like some Jamaican food, Chinese food, maybe take home some tissue and laundry detergent from a Dollar Tree or something. You want to contain death in this neighborhood. For some reason, you want to contain death in this neighborhood. For some reason, it's wreaking death. It's so much more to do for this community. That ain't it. So... I put the energy out there. That ain't it. And my friend that do the numbers, he says, Sky, it don't irk you that Moncrief has over ten has over ten um graveyards. Like Main Street, you know, they're gentrifying Main Street, the strip where the white people are moving in. Remodeling those slave looking houses, those big houses. Why not put the morgue by the graveyard over there? So much more to do. That is counterintuitive. That's reverse psychology. That's, that's, that's bewitched. That's a, that's a low blow to a bunch of people just minding their business. That's a real low blow. To bring an entrance, bring a morgue to our neighborhood right off the entrance. 
Yeah. 